Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Valhalla. I almost forgot the name of the game there, but what we have to do now is go through the papers and also buy ourselves a lovely new slut shirt or, you know, just a hollow plant. I think, I think that's what our character wanted. Um, everything's so expensive. There's like a mega Christmas tree. Celebrate the bastardization of commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. What's mega Christmas? That's amazing. I want to do mega Christmas. I want to get mega presents and have mega, oh, mega Christmas roast. Can I not afford? There we go. Hollow plant sold. Hooray for um, buying things. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will, sh <clears throat> pardon me. She will surely focus at work. I can now browse danger you. Is that like dangerous? Maybe it, maybe it's dangerous. Let's let's have a look. As far as I know, danger slash you is basically <laughs> a uh, a version of 4chan in this game, which amuses me. Because look, it's just shit posting. Look, in the last thread, a gnome wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know. Hmm. And then hang on, let's go to the let's go to the bottom. Uh. Uh. Now who's the attention whore? Look. It's just shit and they close the thread. Um, yeah, I, I, I can scroll through this slowly if you want to uh, read it, but it's pretty funny. So this person is basically like, I love Mickey, who's a big uh, star. And then we, we, we just want to, to help you. And then turns out they're a guy. Anyway, let's talk about Alice Rabbit. I am interested in this one because I quite like the hacker. Um, oh, what's what's the word for it? It's like a, a folklore. Uh, let's talk about what what it says on the tin. So, what's new in the news? There's there's literally nothing about them in the news. That's the thing. If you go through the um, augmented eye, it's literally just um, hearsay, and then. Are the hackers actually doing thing and then Alice not doing anything? I have a theory that the person who pops up in our dreams and also on the TV sometimes is actually Alice, but I don't know why a, a world-renowned hacker would be... <clears throat> in, I'm going to have a drink. Would be interested in hacking my brain? And then there's a Mickey concert soon. Let's limit all the concert, uh, concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? Uh, why would you lie on the internet? <laughs> no one on the internet has a boyfriend. Fucking normies, get out! And then everyone talking to each other about being anonymous and... Uh, and then it just completely gets derailed, as always. I mean, and then ev eventually... Eventually, I imagine, like, someone would get called Hitler. Because that's them to the rules on the internet, right? And then local woman, local hero, Lana Smithy. Uh, someone said that was a reference to something. I am unaware of what it is a reference to. So I, I just don't have any idea. Uh, a mysterious rec rescuer. Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them mid-air. I have a feeling that that might be our boss, Dana, because she's awesome. 70% of our readership is shrimp ramen to be disgusting. Is, is this really news? Is it just a really slow news day? Can't even finish this article. You're going to have to puke. Really? What's wrong with shrimp ramen? Ah, oh, fucking clickbait. Okay. Now, I can be accused of clickbait. I've made, I have made a video which and a, a thumbnail that's just boobs. I, uh, only one time. But it was like this sexy game, and it was a sexy game. It was a game about about sexiness, but but it was kind of clickbaity. And that's gonna be another code, isn't it? I can't read binary. Weirdly, I'm I'm not a, an android. Uh, no, I've already I've already saved. So let's go to work. There's purple numbers. What? We are looking at purple numbers. Hmm. Fair enough. Work time. <laughs> enough messing around. Hey, good evening. 
Head you. Oh my god, she's got a thing on her head. Did I just puke everywhere? That's the sound you don't hear every day. But boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking where, who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move. Jill, I just act. Our boss is so badass. Except for a bit of... There's a bit of stupid in there. I, I guess that normally comes... Let's change the channel. I don't want to see muscly men beating each other up. I want to see coolness. Whoever that boy is. That boy dare. Um, anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. <laughs> you sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and really, really cool. Oh, I keep on accidentally doing that with the scroll wheel. Anyway. Hello. I, I love doing the sexy voice for this, for this dude. Even though he doesn't have a nose, he's still sexy. It's strange that you're like Gil. Yeah, the traffic was... <sighs> Don't run, you have to work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. That was not sexy. Hong Kong? Chief? S sorry, I thought you were someone- Oh, he thought that Dana was a white knight. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you and detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what where now? Uh, nothing, never mind. She seems happy. Oh, is she just messing around? She's like, I've got a cool helmet now. I must pretend I am James Bond. Pluto warheads! Boom! Uh... Uh, she's been tense these past couple of days, if she's somehow relaxed now. Good! Are you all set? Yep. Oh, right. Let's pick the tunes randomly, because I honestly can't remember one from t'other. There's, there's a, there's a lot on here. Let's go... Bloop. Uh, blippity. Blippity. Bloopity. Uh, we've already got that one. Bloopity. And blippity. I didn't change the first one, so we've heard this one before. Anyway, time to mix drinks and cha, 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 cha. You. Oh, Miss Kim. Because of you, I got up late and lost a full day of work. And on the day, everyone got a nifty assignment too. Did I get her pissed? Look. Because of me. You were the one that got me drunk. Oh, maybe I did put a bit too much Kermatrine in her drink. Uh, whoops! And made me fall asleep like a goddamn log. She's got a really manly voice now. Maybe that's her hangover voice. I've, I know, I've known that to happen. And I've got, it's kind of hay, I think I mentioned this, it's hay fever season, so I've got a, a bit of a overly gross voice as well. But water is my friend. Uh, so you arrived home safely, that's nice. <laughs> that's all you've got to say? What do you want me to say? If I felt remorse over every client that gets drunk in here, I wouldn't be working. But, true, morally speaking, I shouldn't let people get drunk. But getting people drunk is the unspoken main purpose of my job. And I did say that I didn't know how much alcohol you could handle, didn't I? I... Ah! <laughs> Seriously, what kind of answer is that? Ugh. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan, do I know you? Hey, Brett. You're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. I, I can't remember. That wasn't the voice that I gave him, though. Uh, luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? Uh, I can't. Oh, I remember now. No, whoo! He wants a big old beer. Right, what's this? Two aldehydes, two Bronson, one, two powdered, one, two, three, four. See, maths is easy when it's just doubling stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix. Boom. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Holy crap, that's glitched out. I don't think I messed one up yet. Sorry, sorry about that. Two aldehyde. Maybe I didn't put enough 
Bronson in there. Uh, and... Uh, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I didn't fill it up to the, to the max. To the max! Here you go. Yeah, yeah, now that's what I call service. He's got, he, he, he sounds like he really wants to have sex. Maybe he does. Um, oh well. That's good to hear. <laughs> what brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but hell with that. And thanks to, to, to all that shit, I found myself here blessing your hellhole with my presence. Do not go near my hellhole. That is not a place you want to be near, and not a place I want to put you near. Uh, just, just a warning. You were here yesterday too, how, come, how did that come about? There's this girl that's performing concert later tonight. Yesterday I was tuning the details of it, the interview I'd have with her today. And that, like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. Uh, well, it's nice that you're sexist in an open, clear way that it's very easy to tell that you're a bit of an arsehole. But to be fair, that's the same impression that I got yesterday, so um, you're consistent at the very least. Easy enough, the fact that that gal had a nice pair of knockers helped too. <laughs> Boobies, tit, boo 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 boobs. Now, I'm a fan of boobs, but really, just just straight up staring at them and, and, and telling everyone, not cool, dude, not cool. We've come along, <laughs> we've come, come along the, a long way in the department of Lilim sex appeal, I tell you. She was a Lilim then? Ah, okay. From what I understand, Lilims are androids, but they're basically sentient AI as as well. So they're like basically real people. Um, yeah, that's one of the new fancy King Glass Chia models. C H one A Chia. Chia. Uh, they were anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a lot of grumbling to do. Uh, lost in his own world of having sex with Android. Hey you, that guy with the John face. Hey, he agrees with me. That guy does look like he's got a John on his face. <laughs> what the hell is a John face? Yeah, you, do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots 10 years ago, right? Oh, we're learning about Gillian now. Oh, I have never been to Hong Kong and I certainly don't uh, didn't defect from any anti-riot forces after sealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. Um... Okay. Maybe that, that's why he's such a sandy vagina. <laughs> I've literally never used that term before, but it's the first one that came into my head when he started talking about silicon. Oh, maybe he's talking more about boobs. Maybe that's it. One on one the other, lady part. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damn rats broke out. Seriously though, did they really think the laws were trying to pass would be would backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many, they have different capabilities to put in between. It's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. <laughs> I mean, there's a political agenda revolving around cheap labor, labor and the plan reduce, uh, reached such a developed stage because the media was in, uh, instilling fear in the public. I've got no political equivalent of that happening in England right now. <sighs> Very depressing. Anyway, the general fear was that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs with a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where 
On a second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get that full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship on Hong Kong because of all that. Uh, scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been uh, the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy the Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. Cool. <laughs> and I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me came, can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, I'm guessing a scholarship my a student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? <laughs> try it, try Wait, why did I say Chinese again? Chinese! Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tan tangerine Canto what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's, but it's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, just saying Chinese won't do. You might learn Cantonese because you're only going to Hong Kong. Or you might learn Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to uh, Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve in Mars Blast too. Mars Blast. <laughs> Lots of R's in there. <laughs> Where they don't need to be. <laughs> sure, I'm on it. What's a Mars Blast? That's a change of pace, alright? <gasps> Boom! Mars Blast. So what exactly are we blasting out of Mars? I... Oh, I messed it up already. Doing, doing Donovan's voice gives me a slightly light head. It's odd. I, uh, I don't think I've experienced that doing voices before. Um, he doesn't want this one big, does he? Let's just say no and just blend it. Oh no, it's already it's already bigger than 10, so I think it's already... I don't know. Let's blast you to Mars, Mr. Donovan. Honestly, I think that's where you belong. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Why would, would you mind telling me if I said anything somehow someone could use against me in a court of law? Uh, unless complaining about your investors can be used as legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good, fuck those sons of bitches. <laughs> what did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you do and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. I don't know what that sounds like, honestly. And I don't think you spoke German. <laughs> But let me tell you something, those are pe those, there are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are raised right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You have a very bizarre uh, read on things, but oh well. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will still buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake, and it is all over for you. He is—he is American. I think—I think I've given him a slight bit of American. That's, that's where he's from. I don't. I, I, I still think I, I can't remember, but I still think this is like Neo Tokyo or something. I don't. I can't remember. I should. I should watch the beginning, uh, uh cutscene, like right before the, the game loads up. Anyway. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch you something out of set, of set out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an art article about cougars. <laughs> All because we got a pack of 42-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by the damn namesake. 
Yeah, it's funny when someone else hears about it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. <laughs> nice. You have some, uh, you have some serious beef with literally anyone that isn't you. I, I guess that's what happens when you make, uh, a newspaper for a living. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always there for blood. You can't win, you will- Ooh, that was the chair. <laughs> I'm- Oh, it's still happening. Just ignore that. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while someone takes it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against someone. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones who you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. I don't think I don't think that is the point. Anyway, being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. I mean, in England, the mirror is a newspaper. So, and it's a red top as well. So everyone's angry at it anyway because they're shit bags. <laughs> It's, it's a bit more nuanced than that, but you know what? Whatever, shitbags. I, I said it. You'll believe me. <laughs> uh, sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it might be posted as soon as possible. Uh, the fact that we're posting it after the chick finishes her concert is enough of a problem already. Something to de delay the interview? The interview was supposed to be hap- Wait, what? It was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she just didn't. Was it yesterday? No, because today is like Thursday or Wednesday, right? I spent two days negotiating, negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Do you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happened, I needed to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay, then one last drink before I leave. Give me something better to wake me up. Cool. Uh, I wonder if alcohol would help too. Hmm. If you want to be woken up, alcohol is not the thing. But, um, this guy... <sighs> Whatever. Sunshine Cloud, is this optional karma train? Bitter, girly, and soft. No, this is this guy's a manly man. He might be offended if I, I give him something girly. Anyway, gut punch, optional karma train. Let's do that. One flanagride. Should I just finish it? Fill it up with with alcohol. Nah, I mean, let's let's just see. Boom. Yeah, yeah, this works just fine. Man, that gal's producer was angry as fuck. Trying to get negotiate with him was a hassle. I've had less problems dealing with SoCal justice warriors. <laughs> what is a SoCal? I know... Oh, I get it. Wait, I know what SO means. Ooh, SJWs! Oh my god. Even video games complain about social justice warriors. Whatever. Uh, then maf maf Mafia Vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. What? <laughs> this is new. <laughs> oh yeah, those artificially blonde, artificially tanned folks with big blunt objects. What? <laughs> Hang on, what? <laughs> this is new. They're an interesting group, you know? They only accept people born and raised in South California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god, I love this version of Social Justice Warriors. They're literally Southern California Justice Warriors. This is so different. <laughs> they have to. No normal person could run around in swimsuits in this weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works, but they're pretty sensitive too. <laughs> too many outlets have insulted them in the past. They only trick... So they are trigger happy against defamation. Oh my god. This is brilliant. I kind of love this. <laughs> uh, best SJWs. Best. Oh my god. I might join them. I might. Oh wait, no, they wouldn't let me. I'm not from South California. 
I've had a dozen guys speedos talking to me about some news while flaunting their bags of bat. What? This is so confusing. <laughs> and they're still more polite than the producer guy. Think about it. Watching a bat banana hammock move at the same time as the bag of batteries was more pleasant. I'm pretty sure there's a banana hammock and bad bag of batteries audience somewhere though. None. No, I am that audience. I would absolutely love to see exactly what the fuck these guys are talking about. The f I have no fucking clue what this means, but it's hilarious. Well, I'm go I'm out. You just gonna drop that bomb on me? Thank you. Please come again and explain what. That was tiring. Uh, hey Jill, I think I have a problem. Uh, don't tell me. Yep. I can't tell the helmet off. <laughs> Wait, how do I do a sexy laugh out loud? <laughs> oh my god, I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off Valkyrie type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know? I can break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper- What, did you run over there? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Ooh. Let's see, well, where was that number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, this just became a sitcom. Uh, Iris? Who's Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no God or Buddha, you can always trust Boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey! Can you see me? Ah, uh, Dorothy! Now Dorothy is a character. If you've played the de the um, the prologue, the demo version, you will you will recognise this character. Yeah, I, I can see you. Why? Really? A man? Th did they? S man? Did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm gonna go out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and <laughs> why? Screwdriver as in the drink or um. You talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello! <laughs> She's already got her voice and it's awesome. Oh, hello Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit. She didn't see you. Oh, I get it now. They sold me a VIC jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Uh, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or video of someone stripping or underwear, un undressing? But I mean, the ones where the clothes are the the only thing you see and the other person is invisible? Come again. No. That's a new type of porn for me. Uh, there's people out there with a fetish for invisible stuff. Where you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish. But my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something and make me invisible. And he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't they your wouldn't your clothes invisible be t uh, t with such a jammer or something? Hmm. Have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camera module. Nano camo. I I mispronounced that when I first said it. Have you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances, like being invisible. Is really is that a civilian appliance? Is that just for? peeping into the girls locker rooms the girls changing rooms is oh someone is phoning me never mind let's continue with this wow this has gone on for half an hour I'm okay with that super long episodes we can hang out and, and laugh at this ridiculous game together for like half an hour that's cool with me uh, right they use nano uh, technology to make fabric and other materials any color or texture you want you can order a module from them and change the color or clothes or wall or tablet tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? 
If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey as I checked though. Almost to the human eye. Well, it's not perfect. If you move your eerie sounding uh, surrounding colored blob, and we let him see things differently, so it's in a bit div against us. Still, it might be what I need. Uh, now, what, what was that you were talking about to yourself about again? Oh, it's Glitch Girl, the girl I was talking about at the beginning of the episode. Maybe that's White Rabbit. Was it Ra White Rabbit? What? No, Alice Rabbit. White Rabbit is from the Matrix. Uh, <laughs> same, same thing though. Uh, nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Dorothy wants a piano woman. Simple enough. Cool, I'm going to make this next episode. Thanks for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, then subscribe, and we can learn more about SJWs. So, yeah, until next time, mustache. Grrr, SJWs.